flex like a my song. You mad at the hoodies like black guns? We white guns. He's here. Like you rubber one hit like I'm Tyson. Uh huh. I watch dipped in water like Poseidon. Keep going. And probably get that money in the city. Yeah. We ain't hard to find if you wanna come and get me. Uh huh. Mm. I rock your boat like a Leah. Huh. Sister to sister, like Tamara and Tia. The ghost is so five. Y'all boys better learn. Yeah. The girl got a car. Uh huh. After I let it burn. Right. Google is crazy. He classy, young copper. You kept fucking crazy. Now your house is yeah. in the fire. Body, but my partner, he a drummer though. Put it in another go. Make a nigga tug and roll. You know about that hoodie gang. You know how we coming though. We ain't on the same page if it ain't about money though. I come from the bottom, I got mud all on my honey stuff. What's up, everybody? It's DJ Ramo, Power One Five One. This is the Powers Industry, home of new music and entertainment. My main man, I'm man here, he's gonna ask all the questions I don't wanna ask. <laughs> but right now, we got the multi-talented. We got these young brothers called the Hoodies in the building. Hoodies, what's up, man? Come on, baby. Ellen Bell. You know what I mean? In the building. Never right. ran, never will. I see you, baby. That's So, yo, man, let's just jump right in. You have been making so much headway in the game. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> you almost got to pause yourself. Pause first. We're going to go right into it. You know what I mean? Word. You know, I'm on my OG stuff, so I, yeah. I want to make sure you understand what type of interview this is. But you guys have been have been hitting the scene hard with the hip-hop and all that. The ill combination, one older, one younger. Let's talk about how that actually came about. What made you guys decide to get together? And when did you realize he had skills? Because, you know, for some reason, I'm always hearing the other thing that people say that uh, you writing on his stuff. Yeah, you know what nah. I mean? So let's, let's just talk about Before it. you do that, let's get your names out to everybody. Oh, yeah, well, I'm E-Class. E-Class. First half. Oh, I'm going to pop it the other half of uh -huh. Okay. And um, when I noticed Little Bro was nice is when um one day we was having a cypher on my back porch. And um, it's all the older dudes out there, all my older bros. And um, he's like, yo, let me go. So I'm like, what? <laughs> he go up there and start freestyling off the top. He's How like old five, was he? Like five years old. Oh, but, wow. but he used to do it. He was doing it before that in the house. But this is the first time he really like was out there with Public. it. Public. And he got on the porch and just went off the top and was going crazy for like a couple minutes straight. And I'm like, oh, no, nah, this is different. This yeah. ain't like just some little kid doing it. It's different. different right? Yeah. So that's when I first seen him like serious, like really going crazy. So, like, in, in your household, a lot of hip-hop was played. Your father was a DJ, a rapper, anything like that? How, how did you just... My it's not boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody, you might have been hearing it somewhere. Actually, um... Your mom used to play a lot of hip-hop in the car when you yeah. were in her stomach or something. How'd you yeah. pick this up? Ben, um, basically, my pops was, in, um, he was incarcerated while I was growing up. Mm -hmm. And I kind of relied on hip-hop to, like, grow up with me. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Hip-hop raised me, basically. Hip-hop and my mom, but I'm born here. Mm -hmm. Dope, dope. Fair. I'm influenced. So, you realize he had, had bars, but what made you team up with him? Because, you know, naturally you're older than he is, mm -hmm. so, you know, that this it, is an ill combination with was, somebody that, you know. It was it was real random. It was like, um, he was basically right in the house, and I'm just playing the game, doing regular kid stuff. And then, um, he just, I just kept looking, and he just, he pulled me to the side, he was like, yo, what I want you to do is we gonna go back to back. So basically, he was gonna say something, I was gonna rebound with what he said. Mm -hmm. So, we sitting there, we playing, we playing with him for a little bit, and the beat was ready to me, like, yo, this ain't working. And my mom has been suggesting this beat to my brother that one more from set. that year, from that mad long. Beat. She was like, you need to do this with somebody, somebody. No. And then we, <clears throat> I, we put the beat on, yeah. switched the verses up, mm -hmm. I was like, I like this. He said, where we going to do it? And then we went to my aunt's house, and we were doing it on the sidewalk. And I'm like, yo, the sidewalk is mad narrow, we keep bumping into each other, it looks silly. Mm -hmm. So, basically... We hopped in the car, my mom was recording it through the little oh, window, yeah. on the phone, and we, we recorded it. The next day we had 80,000 views in a day. Woo. The day after that we had a million. Like, it started going crazy. Two weeks now, later, now that, we had video's million. At, that video's at 5 million probably now. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. fresh, you were fresh, and we still get comments on the first one. Wow. So what, what year was that? 2016. 16, yeah. Oh, this is all recent. Mm -hmm. like, you had a lot of, you know, achievements. Yeah. Okay. But let, let's talk about some of those things. I see you've been on like Ellen's show. You mm -hmm. work with major artists, A-list mm -hmm. artists. Yeah. So what are some of the people? Some of the, you know, dreams come true for you. What are some, some of the accolades? Flex, 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 you was, out yo, flex, flex was like when we went up on Flex. I think I was more nervous than he was because. I understood like the magnitude right, of where right. I was at. You know what I mean? He, he's he, like, I'm just gonna he go knows fuck, He knows fuck flex for 
like right now, you know what I mean, the freestyle, A Boogie Don Q freestyle, all that. I know Flex from like Bomb. L Bomb, yeah. you know what I mean, LL Cool, you know, all right. of that. That's what I know Flex from, so I'm like, damn, this is crazy. You can't go up there and play around, baby. Yeah, so right. I was just like, you know what I mean, that, that moment right there was mine. Yeah, it's so, NYC, so it's not a game. Yeah, yeah. nah, it ain't no game. Number one. That's a fact, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, nah, that's a fact. All around the border. Um, Jay and SP, obviously, those the big bros. Um, getting in the, um, the studio with Sue Surf. That's my guy, that's my mans. We, we ended up meeting 50. Yup. 50 Shank, mm-hmm. this is 50 doing an interview. Oh, wow. Bro walked off the um, elevator, and, and we were saying that the whole car right down, and we go, what if we see 50? What if we see 50? And we walk, and I got my head down, I was looking at my phone, my brother was like, oh, oh, ish, it's 50. I'm like, I look up. I just see 50, he like 6'4", he mad tall. <laughs> he ain't that tall, but he's he not that tall, man. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. so this is like my one of my favorite rappers of all time. So mm-hmm. I'm like starstruck right now. He ended up He being, was stuck. Like, 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 when I say stuck, stuck like, I 50 was like, what's up? I, I, that that's happened to a lot of people. Like, I love him hanging. Like, I was dead. Like, Stuff, you froze, you froze. He froze up. And I know mom said, how you doing? I'm his mother. <laughs> He's all right. There's nothing wrong with him. You know, he's just a little starstruck. We got, like, got in there. He was just like, yo, bro. Yo, my head feel crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he drank. He drank. He drank. That's crazy. So what y'all did in there? This interview? He was there while he was doing it? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he was there when you did the freestyle? Nah, he was. It looked like he had scripts of power in his hand. Oh, I tried to look. He had some papers in his yeah, head. Yeah, it was like it was scripts. Now you freestyle, he said, like, yeah, scripts. <laughs> it could have been, it could have been. Now, just so you know, my man, I'm going to introduce you to him. The kid you saw outside, the Spanish kid, he's going to be on the first episode of Power. Oh, oh word? Really? Yeah, oh, so, you know, so. connect, you know, it's about connecting up here. Power's industry, we all mm-hmm. connecting the dots, man. That's why Raymo is here for that. You know what I mean? But let's talk about this whole Diddy situation. I heard a rumor that you passed on Diddy to rock with 50. Is that true? Damn. You curb Diddy? Like who curves Diddy? Yeah. You already make curves Diddy. Yo, no. Nah. <laughs> Is that true, son? Nah, nah, nah. I, I don't think I. Would, I don't think I would curb Diddy. But from what I've heard, a lot of people have passed up on the opportunity for Diddy for some reason. That's it. That's it. Okay. See, wow. That's Diddy calling right See, now. Diddy, that's Diddy. You, know, you in New York? Nah, but like nah, that's not. No, nah, that's not. Oh, that's not. You know you gonna come in here dancing, son. Come here, home shaking. Yo, no, nah, but um. Yeah, nah, that's not, uh, that's not true. Okay. Because, you know, it's out there, right? Everybody yeah. keep talking. Everybody like, was saying we signed the G unit and had the whole town buzzing. Everybody, y'all signed the G unit? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. If you had a choice, though, what would you do? Um, I think I would have to go with, I would have to go with Puff, just because I feel like he has more pull and he could make more plays, I feel like. Mm-hmm. But I would, I would sign with 50, because I feel like 50 would be a good mentor. And he's he's real, but he still raps. He's still active in the game. But mm-hmm. if we talking about like making connections, making plays, you you, you want to go with this. So business wise, you talking about going with Puff. But if we talking about making well, talking records, about making music, yeah. you would go with Fifty. Yeah. I'm gonna have to say, um, I would have to say, uh, I'm a little biased when it comes to the situation. So I'm gonna say Fifty. Because Fifty is one of my favorite top five of all time. So. No, no. That's my guy. I mean, but that's a great point from a business perspective. Yeah, yeah, you think about it. Bad Boy has a answer. long standing. Yeah, and, there's, and the one thing I know about Bad Boy is they, every artist that they've ever had has gone gold or better. Yeah. And not a lot of companies. They produce a lot of good artists. You know what I mean? Like they, on they, every, they on every level. Artists. So, you know, no, no shot at I love G Unit and all of them. Yeah. But like 50's always been the biggest at G Unit. Right. There's nobody ever been bigger than him. You that's, know a, that's a good point, too. That's a good point. So, Definitely. you know, but this is y'all role, but if you decide to go that way, and just it, cut my check. <laughs> 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 what do you guys see yourselves in five years? Like, what's the goals? You guys got some got a wish list somewhere? Mm-hmm. I, I'm going to have a Grammy. A Grammy? Damn. Yeah, and I awesome. like that. I'm gonna gonna too. You're gonna act too, okay. Yeah. I got I, I've gotten a couple of auditions oh, and beautiful. my last audition was um for Central Park Five. Oh nice. Okay. And um while I was in there, they was they stopped me in the middle of me doing the audition. They were like, You're doing amazing. They stopped me in the middle of the whole so well, you were no acting experience, right? No acting experience. They're like, You're doing great. You're doing amazing. And then when I walked out, I like I felt her smiling behind me. I'm like, I think I got it. I think I got it. I was tight. I think I got it. Yeah, yeah. I've had a couple of. I had like three or more three auditions before that. He auditioned for Nas, the documentary for Nas. Five years from now, 
I'm gonna say, um, I feel like five years from now, I'll definitely want to be known as top lyricist. Like, okay. in that conversation, I want to be in that conversation. That's one of my main goals. Um, um, damn, that's hard. To be in that conversation, I want to know who are your influences. Like, okay. who, who do you, who do you guys, you know, no. listen to? Nas, no. Pac, Big um, hey, <clears throat> uh, Jada, obviously. Of I mean, a lot of real rap. A lot of real rap. Yeah. I got you. A lot of that real rap. That's a fact. I still, you guys, young brothers, and you're not falling into the into the trend. Yeah, nah. You guys follow the real. It just don't give me that feel. It's not that same feel, no, like, no. not at all. There's music for like every environment, basically. Like, nah, that's true. like New York State and mine are gonna come on in the club. Like they gonna play, they gonna play Lil Pump, they gonna play Chief Keef, Six Nine, they gonna play. What's club like the environment for the club? But if you're in the house mm -hmm. and you vibe in the music, you gonna listen to real rap or you gonna listen to some soul. But right, you're right. not gonna be in the club listening to nothing like that. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's definitely not the environment. But it makes sense. Mm -hmm. I think that's what people. How are you? I just, I just turned into the last one. He's got like a music yeah, program. He's got like, right. a, yeah, he's got like an old soul. Now people see what I'm talking about when I be like, I don't write for this kid. He's different. You can clearly see that, man. Different. You can clearly see that. Yeah. That's what I was going to ask. So, I'm sorry, go ahead. You, you were going to ask them. I was just going to ask them, how did, how did that work out with Ellen? Like, I see you guys did something with Ellen. How, how did that come about? Like, that's they reached out to you guys? That's off the first video, yeah. They, uh... They reached out to us through Facebook. They uh, saw our video going crazy on Facebook. It was probably sitting at like 2.8 million around that time. And um, they invited us up. They said, yo, we would love to have you guys on. Wow. Do a little performance for Ellen. That's crazy. 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 Did you understand who Ellen was when they said that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You did? Yeah, I knew who Ellen was. <laughs> no, but did you understand like what, how big of an opportunity The magnitude you know, of that. Of or did you later realize that? No, of course. I was, I was kind of like... Cause you ain't really home though. What time does Ellen come on? She come on like during the day, or four thirty? Yeah. But you ain't going home to watch Ellen. My, no, no, but <laughs> my, my my mom would be at work, and my grandma would be um babysitting me. Well, not okay. babysitting, but just watching. So um I'll I'll be I'll be in the living room eating lunch or whatever and Ellen to come on, she watches Ellen all the time. So. Every day all every day. So I used to watch Ellen most of the time. So but until we got finished performing uh -huh. and she was like and she came on stage, she hugged us, I started crying. For real? Yeah, I started oh, crying. Right. I, I watched the stage. He was crying yeah, like crazy. I was crying like crazy. Exactly, right? And it yeah. hit me till we was done. Like, yo, like, we, we was on Ellen just now. Yeah. See, that's what I wanted to hear from him. Because if you'd have walked out of here without saying, I'd say he was front. <laughs> There's no way you don't you do a show like Ellen. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? I guess I'm proud. No matter what age you are, it has to smack. It. Who all them picked? I'm at Ellen, though. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't hit you know me until I mean? so we got on the plane going back. To New York, I was like, it's like, wow. I was like, yo, did we just do Ellen, bro? Like, <laughs> I'm no, like in the moment, it. you know what I mean? I'm just thinking, yeah, like, yo, this is crazy. They bro. said, they said that, um, and when I came to school the next day, the teacher said every the the whole middle school missed first period because they was in the auditorium watching. Oh wow! They missed first period to watch. In the auditorium, they watched the whole Ellen show. That, that's an amazing achievement, though. There's people that have been in the industry their whole life and cannot get on Ellen, can't Free. pay enough money to be on Ellen, can't Free. beg to be on Ellen, and that and you guys got picked to be on. So obviously, there's something there, like yeah. you know. I never would have thought Ellen would get like I, in all the things and all the like all the things that could happen right. during that time. Like I wasn't. That was Ellen right. wasn't even one thing right, in my right. mind. Yeah. Not yet. <laughs> that just so so you did Flex crazy. show, you did Ellen show, and he, mm -hmm. you met Fifty. What like I don't know what what else you guys got on your bucket list? Like I know you want the Grammys and Oscars, but like any, well, where are you guys in regards to any labels talking? You taking any meetings right now? You still oh, yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, and been, who's handling that aspect? Is it mom handling that aspect? Yeah, yeah, mom's, okay. yeah, mom's, yeah, mom's, mom's the monster. <laughs> you guys, not, you guys not, not letting like, like, nobody get over on a baby. Exactly, it's good like that. Yeah. Your mom's know if someone's trying to play their kids. Yeah, yeah, of So yeah, she definitely um has seen um what this industry has to offer, right. and um. <laughs> It's it's been a crazy a crazy experience. These labels reaching. And I would say it has to be because you know, and it's no disrespect the way you're from, but Allenville 
is like a small town up in the mountains. And we had a conversation off camera, so we actually know some of the same people. Mm -hmm. And now you telling me that's family to you, so that's the ironic thing. Yeah. But I mean, like, I you go up to Ellenville, it's like mountains. You want to know? I tell you a funny story. <laughs> there's, mm -hmm. a, there's an artist named K Solo. Mm -hmm. And when I was trying to rap when I was younger, I was alright, but I wasn't that good. Mm -hmm. I actually tried to, and he was in Ellenville, and I met him in Ellenville. Oh, that's crazy. And I was, I got it, I got, I was able to get into this bar. Mm -hmm. Ain't too many of them in there, but this yeah. one bar. I remember how look, it was kind of like you walk in, it was like a, the bar was like a, like a, like a square. Yeah. And you walk in, I was at the end of the bar. And I was he talking about battle. the old, look, look, see. <laughs> <laughs> he, he talking about the old. The, the the town taverns, right? Probably that's yeah, what it was. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what it was. I yeah, know we, yeah. we got in there, it was late. We got up in there, I was amazed to get up in there. Mm -hmm. See, so just check, man. I said, I'm a real street dude, man. Yeah. Like, I'm a real New York guy, man. Yeah, people yeah. don't get that about me, yeah, man. That's a fact. You know what I mean? The places I know and the people I know. But yeah. I was in there, I was like, yo, I'm gonna battle K so And he fronted. Word. He fronted. He oh, was like, nah, crazy. he's like, I'm not battling nobody right now. And I was like, yo, he's scared to battle me. And I said oh, it so you can hear me. I'm glad he did because I don't know if he would have got me. Yeah, yeah. Nah, that's but either crazy. way, you walk out of there, you kind of am. You know, yeah, I, and I think I was a couple years older than him. That's what made it crazy oh, that I was cool. in it. That's so, crazy. you know, I was just like, yeah, I want the battle. Mm -hmm. You know, I have my rhymes and all oh, that ready to go. That hunger. That's crazy. Yeah, that's but, dope. you know. So it was just kind of crazy, but coming from a place like Ellenville and now being given all this, this kind of exposure, mm -hmm. how does it feel? You know what I mean? Because you're not coming from the city, you're not coming, you know, you're coming from a small place. That gets I mean? overlooked. That gets overlooked, yeah. and that's exactly what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, it feels crazy because it's just like, at a, the people, you know what I mean? We looking, we looking at the same four blocks every day, at a, everybody we see, it's like, yo, us. Like, this is crazy. Like, us, out of everybody, it's us. Mm -hmm. Like, that's a blessing, you know what I mean? We look <laughs> at that like a blessing. We thank God every day for that because we could have been doing what everybody else is doing. You know what I mean? Caught up in the streets, caught up in the drama, but we, you know what I mean? We stayed solid and we made it out of there. Like, that's the reason we rap. Yeah, that's, that's what kept the, That's what kept us out the streets. It's not hard to. It's not hard to go to the streets when you need money when you need trouble. Mm -hmm. But yeah. where, where can people find the music? Like where, where do they go to? Their YouTube, YouTube, yeah, YouTube, iTunes, all the streaming services yeah. everywhere. Uh, we just uh, uh, dropped a not like a couple months ago. We just dropped a uh, money moves. Okay. One of our singles on off our mixtape that's coming out on okay. Family Business. That's going to be on uh, iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Amazon, everything. Oh, yeah. That's dope. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. That's what's up. So yo, man, you know we ain't gonna hold you because we know you out here in these streets mm -hmm. doing your thing. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? He looks so much like Big. That's the hilarious. <laughs> I'm here, and I'm like, yo, you sure? You sure, mom? No, we still. <laughs> I'm just saying, don't disrespect your pop, I'm just yeah. saying. Man. Just not like Big Player, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then when the whole Diddy thing came around, I said, oh, Diddy, Diddy knew something. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> just sign yeah. yeah. off, yeah. man. Yeah. Now you got best. That's why he's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, but uh, we definitely want to hear you. You got something for us, man? Oh, oh, you can't walk out of here without that. Like, nah, come on. We got it's one of our premier DJs in New York we City, man. It. He don't like when I brag, but this dude right here, yeah. <laughs> It's lethal, you know what I mean? Catch him on that Angie Martinez show. You know, we know, player. You know what I'm saying? You know, when the fire is there, we're going to play it. You know? It's love. It's love. All right. Let's get to it. Let's put him in the booth. The hoodies. Set you free, nigga, the truth. Every time I step in the booth, I speak the truth. Y'all know what I'm bringing to you. I bring the truth. Motherfuckers know who I be. I be the truth. When I speak, set set you free, nigga, the truth. Nigga, the truth. This deal is your boy, boy, I met me when he said, you know why I'm at, you know what it is, Powers Industry Exclusive. Power 105 DJ Raymond in the background holding it down with the sound. My man Jordan, I see you. Right now I got the hoodies in the building, man. In the building. In the building, representing that Ellenville, you know what I'm saying? I see you, son, I see you. Listen, man, these young men, they got some stuff with them, man. But the ill combination is one is older, one is younger, but we're going to see who got that fire. Let's go. Stay tuned, stay tuned. Look, look. Uh -huh. Young Morgan, we got the game looking flawless. Chubby body, but my face gorgeous. It's song, cause we saw your plate and we ate off it. And if you ask who got that gas, then we ate off it. It's poppy. You ones all summer and different flavors. If it's by the book, I'm in a center, thumb maker. Get your hit in less than 30.
30 hours kind, yeah, yeah, for the cream, we'll get your food stirred up with Paul Faya. This the brand new Styles P and new Jada, boom ready. I'm about to blow like a pacer from Sega to PlayStation. We them game changers. Shotty in the range with bro, we lane changers. Hoodie gang gang, but we gang gang bangers. But if you try to team, you will be in great danger. Family business coming, it's not up with great bangers. We hit the booth with more aggression than Blake banging. Nah, man, y'all got Papa back up on his bully off top. All I do is give pain just like a nuggie. When I rob, I make him say, hey, like a hey, boogie. Don, nah, bet you talking about B. Simmons, I ain't a rookie. I'm gonna be the best ever of hard effort. Big trucks, yeah, we push it like salt and pepper. Shooting over the shoulder like Derek Fisher. Hoodie gang, gang, you know that I won't miss you. Yo, can't nobody mess with the boy in no fashion. Let somebody try and touch me and the bros blasting. I can have the homies pull up and they all spaz. And the two C's be right in your corner like closed caption. I'm talking spicy and I'm up in the price. Your shorty about to get scooped up like a towel, you're nice. 21, but I be dipping in women that's 35. HG, nothing but family ties, no Courtney Cox. Listen, I'm bomb on everything, ain't no rapper ahead of me. I behead him, they sit it right next to me just to let you see. And your shorty said I'm Triple H when I beat after the spawn buster. She called me a different pedigree. Uh, I'm stunning like Steve Austin. Hit us in the V with the army fatigue on them. But we move different, it's like the Marines on them. Do that boy dirty, they gon' make a meme off him. I mean, nigga, we mean business, the team dripping. Plotting on E, please don't be ridiculous. She seen me on TV, now she with it. The flow different, the beat different, I lean with it. In Philly for the cheese, they thought it was bean spitting. My shorty, your papaws on the chick like Eve titties. It's Gucci when it come to the gang, there's G's in it. And Susan, ah, come on. I said, I said, yeah, yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's go. Yo, the hoodies, that's what it is, baby. Let's get it. I'm steak, got that create. Let's Real go, man. Bread. You know what I mean? Let's sleep, man. Ellaville in the building, man. I see you, B. Let's go. Yo, that was crazy. The hoodies just shut it down. The booth is on fire. Ellaville in the Yo, building, Yo, building Yo, son. Yo, we're gonna see what it is. We're gonna see what it is. We got that. We got that gold plaque coming with that platinum plaque right after that. And they want more Grammys and Oscars. I need to, I need to tell, tell the people how to find you guys, how to find the music. Our Instagram is the honeys underscore. Mm -hmm. You can find our music on iTunes, YouTube, Spotify. SoundCloud. Yeah, all the streaming services. I'm about to follow you now. That's right. how we're going to do it. The hoodies underscore. The hoodies underscore. Looking out, man. Thank you for coming out, man. We appreciate it. Good things coming out in the future. You know what I mean? Thank you, brother. Thank you. Good luck. Much success. Go ahead, man. Love it when they call me Big Papa.